The Elgin Area Historical Society and the Siegel Family Foundation was recognized with an image award for their two years of research and development for their exhibit, The Jewish Experience in Elgin, first at the museum and now, as we'll learn in just a moment, at the Gail Borden Public Library. We travel from the Heritage Ballroom and the Great Image Awards. We travel to our next story, ironically, where the Jewish experience in Elgin is on display once again. So tell you what, let's head to the Gail Borden Public Library and go inside and learn about the exhibit. This is the Jewish experience in Elgin, and it's a wonderful display that opened at the Historical Society just across the street in last fall, and it has had a tremendous response uh, here in Elgin. In fact, I have had, we've had numerous people stop by and, and visit this uh, display, and also people from out of town. I just this morning was opening up an email from a University of Penn staff member saying that he had been in Buffalo Grove, came over to visit the library just to see, because he likes libraries, to check out the Gail Borden Public Library, see how we're doing. Walked into this display, saw some of his uh, his ancestors here and was just delighted, delighted with the library and del especially delighted with this exhibit. And uh, it's set up by subject matter and it's tremendous, covers how the small population of Jewish people came to Elgin last century and have made a, quite a success on numerous businesses and so many um, contributions to what Elgin is today. And so much contribution from the city of Elgin. You mentioned the Historical Society and on your board, Mike Alf, but also Bill Briska, a lot of Elgin historians working on this. Oh, definitely. This is an Elgin story. This is how uh, a small group of people came here and made a tremendous contribution. And, and it took people from Elgin today uh, that were making it a success. I mean, this is a brand new exhibit created last year, and uh, we're just delighted to have it here for everyone to enjoy. We've got a picture of Fountain Square from 1875 showing some of the, you know, what the community looked like and one of the retail establishments looked like here in Elgin. And, and people can visit that site today to see the tremendous differences. We've got uh, the old uh, synagogue church buildings and how that's changed through the years. Uh, kosher cooking. This covers a number of different uh, uh, elements of what the Jewish culture did uh, and, grow, and how it grew in the Elgin community. Bobby Rosengarten, the uh, musical genius who just passed away, uh, very much a staple at the Dick Cavett Show. Many people don't know that he was from Elgin. Uh, he graduated from Elgin High in 1942, and we have a portion of the exhibit that's about Bobby Rosengarten. The, uh, uh, the Adler family was a uh, huge part of Elgin history. Uh, the Adler family of Sears fame and of Adler Planetarium fame, uh, they, they started out here in Elgin and uh, later went on to contribute a number of different places, musically as well. And so we're happy to have, uh, they are mentioned a number of places in this exhibit. I hope people will also stop by our plasma screen and watch the very interesting way this exhibit was erected. Uh, Mary Hill, Liz Marston, Lucy Elliott, Bill Briska, and a number of different people uh, worked a few days to put this up, and it was just an interesting, interesting process, and you can watch it here. It's a, it was like building a tent and even more, and uh, you will be surprised at the uh, supporting role that cat litter, cat litter played at making this uh, exhibit stand up straight. Adjacent to this exhibit, a private collection of notes and letters of American composer Aaron Copeland will be on display. Copeland wrote the musical scores for such legendary movies as Of Mice and Men and Of Our Town. The exhibit is made possible through the library, the Elgin Symphony Orchestra, and Randall Swigum, who studied the letters and interviewed Claire Rosenstein, the friend of Aaron Copeland, who supplied these letters. The exhibit will run now through May 15th in conjunction with the Elgin Symphony Orchestra's festival, Aaron Copeland, American Icon.